Hello Taurus, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Taurus, this is your reading for the month of September and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't and it is might be vice versa and time is fluid. In this reading, Taurus will see uh, what are the general messages you need to know, what are the love messages you need to know. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. All right. So let's get started. I'm shuffling the cards. I'll lay them down and then we'll see what we need to know. Just a sec. I would appreciate if you hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below Taurus. All right. Let's get started. Why is this one card that is troubling a bit? All right, anyways, let's start. We have seven of pentacles, Taurus. I think so your focus is towards making money, towards uh, generating more sources of income, uh, I mean, this is this is happening with a perspective of stabilizing your financial situation. You're heading towards financial prosperity. You're heading towards financial stability. But you also don't want to feel the insecurity in the future. Like, what if I, if things do not work out? What if I experience financial instability all over again? So keeping the future insecurities at the back of your mind, I think so you're you're definitely focusing towards developing multiple sources of income, not just two or three sources of income. I think so your focus is towards developing at least five, six sources of income for yourself. And uh, this is kind of stemming from insecurities or this is also kind of stemming from the fact that you probably have seen your parents are struggling around money a bit maybe you're uh, while growing up you've seen your parents living paycheck to paycheck uh then we have knight of cups knight of cups is indicating me that there is someone from the past who is trying to come back with an apology especially i do feel with the seven of pentacles you also have a lot of good options as far as love and romance is concerned and the fact that you probably are thinking about new love, you probably want to move on, is making someone nervous. Someone from the past is becoming nervous and they probably are thinking of coming towards you with an apology. The world, world is telling me, Taurus, that you are definitely trying to put an end to certain cycles, certain chapters. You are trying to move on from certain chapters. I mean, you will always think about someone the special person from the past but you have no intention to get back to that person in fact the world and the knight of cups next to one another is kind of telling me that you are trying to run away from this person as much as possible you want to go far away uh, far away from this person <clears throat> i mean uh, there is a sense of wanting to evolve you have learned you learned from your mistakes when you were with this person, you did commit certain mistakes. Like you did allow this person to control you in certain way. This person was always trying to suppress you. This person was not allowing you to be yourself. Probably in certain cases, this person was also abusive. And you kind of, you know, with, the, with this hope that someday this person will change, you allowed this person whatever they were doing to you. But you kind of learned from that, uh, from whatever happened in that connection and you kind of realize that there is you are you're kind of realizing as to the kind as as the kind of person that you want in your life what you want who is right one for you you have learned that big time through a certain relationships that did not work out in your life and that's why anyone coming from the past will definitely not be entertained by you the world is also telling me that there are certain cycles that are coming to an end and there are certain cycles which are beginning and not only the cycles are beginning, but your ancestors, your spiritual team, they all are pushing you towards these new cycle, pushing you towards these new beginnings. Okay. And uh, there is someone who is constantly trying to guide you intuitively or uh, <clears throat> you will feel that. That there is this person who is, there are some energies who are, who are trying to push you uh, towards something. They are trying to guide you that this is the path that you, you need to take or this is something that you need to do. Okay. Then we have nine of swords. Nine of swords is telling me that there is some sort of a stress that you are carrying inside you. And this is kind of 
getting this energy is getting carried forward in the month of september as well for some of you this is money related stress career related stress finance related stress okay for some of you this might be health related stress you probably are feeling like you have just recovered from something but at the same time you are also feeling like this is not probably this is not over this is still i'll still take some time to recover okay uh, to recover completely from whatever has happened so for some of you uh, your health is uh, causing some sort of a stress to you two of cups is telling me that uh love is happening taurus you are you're meeting someone i think so you're going to meet someone who and you're going to find that person very interesting and i also feel like this is going to be very slow moving a slow moving connection there is a lot of interaction that is happening there are a lot of meetings that are happening okay things are progressing things are progressing slowly but things are moving steadily okay i do feel like both of you are investing a lot of time and energy in getting to know one another okay and that is a wisest choice of action that you're going to take and uh maybe the previous relationships those re- those relationships happened quite in a rush however this time around both of you you and your person this next person that is coming towards you both of you are in sync okay your thought processes are the same and there are a lot of other similarities as well and that is why i do see like you are you will try to enjoy spending time together you will try to invest more into knowing one another okay rather than rushing into the relationship and for some of you whoever is coming towards you is a part of your destiny okay so this is someone who is meant to be a part of your life and this is going to be uh, whatever stress that you are going to experience in your life the stress will kind of subside or it will kind of get reduced with the entry of this person the more you time you're going to spend with this person the more you're going to feel stress free the more you're going to feel at peace and at and calm okay seven of wands is also telling me that there might be certain challenges given the fact that you are beginning some new chapters or new cycles in your life i do feel like there are certain challenges that are coming towards you however you are also highly capable of uh, working through those challenges you are also highly capable of facing those challenges and dealing with those challenges head on okay for some of you i do feel like there are challenges in your love life like there might be a, a distance between you and this person that you really like okay i mean we have seven of wands next to two of cups so some of you might face challenges in your love life but these are not like challenges of a grave nature these are not very serious challenges what i feel is like these are certain challenges which can definitely be overcome by you and uh, say for example it, this might be a long distance connection okay you're going to meet this person online meeting one another frequently won't be possible okay you always have to plan and meet uh, meet one another for some of you with uh, i do feel like probably there is going to be certain differences there might be an age gap or uh, uh, cultural differences ethnicity differences and what i see over here is that uh, this your choices might be opposed by someone that is pretty close to you okay uh however i also feel like you're going to stand strong like any kind of opposition will not make you deter away from your decision as far as this connection is concerned okay maybe for some of you your family might oppose your friends might oppose okay but you're going to stand strong with whatever your opinion is four of wands wow yes you are attracting a soulmate you are attracting someone special all right i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment down below link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you and action they will take towards you and likely conclusion between you and this person All right this is your spread take care have a great time and bye bye taurus